Christine Heathman, CEO and Master Formulator of Glymed Plus. And today we're going to be doing a special pumpkin peel. We want to start with our cleansing and this is our peptide cleanser and a little bit of the berry peel will go into the peptide as we prepare this cleanser. Now remember, because this has the TCA in it, 7%, we want to be extremely cautious around any of the membranes. And this will be good because my client here has some acne, so this is going to be fantastic for this. So work it in really well, and then stop there at the temporal area. You always want to lay your cloth over the eyes. Remember, this is getting prepped for a peel. And everything we do is to get those cells excited. Step number two is we're going to take a little bit of our pumpkin peel, take our oxygen cleanser, and then we're going to add our oxygen power booster. You know, skin cells need oxygen. They have to breathe. Look at how nice that cleanser is. Work it on the client and it's going to bubble up. You're going to see, see that? It preps those skin cells and it also deep cleans. Remember, I said she had acne, so she's going to get a deep cleansing. Removing the oxygen cleanser you want to use a dry cloth. And the reason for that is because it will pick it up much easier. Your next step, you utilize the skin recovery mist. And this is part of the rinsing process. So you start from the back and then work front. Now we started off with three primary ingredients. And that was our pumpkin peel. And we added some of the berry peel and the oxygen power booster. Now we're going to add the oxygen peel itself. But the booster does help to create a little thicker viscosity. Begin at the forehead. It's going to be a beautiful peel. I mean, think of all the nutrients the pumpkin has the berry has, especially for acne and pigmentation, and the oxygen. The oxygen just really loads the skin up with nutrients. So I'm going to do three layers because of her skin condition. I just love the way this peel goes on. And I love the way it foams up, it has a smell of autumn. That's what's so incredible. And we're going to let that set for anywhere from a minute to five minutes, depending upon the client's needs. We're going to take what is the pretreatment and we are going to rinse the face with the lactic because we know what lactic does. Lactic literally helps to rehydrate the skin, but it's going to remove any of the residual of the peel. I'm going to use the stem cell power serum. Stem cells are plentiful in the epidermis, and because the peel affects the epidermis and speaks to the dermis at the same time, you want these cells to be fed. So we're putting in the stem cell and working it in with effrolage. Now we're going to follow with CBD. CBD is packed full of antioxidants and it feeds the skin and is one of the best anti-inflammatories that you can apply to the skin after anything. CBD Regenerative Eye Cream. Apply it under the eye and right over in that orbital area. And because we're not going to be stingy, you know what we're going to do? It is so light and 
and it provides a wonderful veil for the rest of the skin that apply it over the vermilion border. We're going to finish with the oxygen treatment cream. We're going to pump it in our hand. Then we are going to take some booster. Now we're going to apply it to the skin and massage it in. Remember with this client light massage, but you can do deeper massage. And always one of the last things you do is you put on sunscreen. Sunscreen is a barrier that protects the skin from the ultraviolet radiation and the environmental assaults that are going to attack your client's brand new skin. Everyone hates dry lips. And one of the best remedies for dry lips is the Glymet Plus Lip Balm. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. We're going to be having more of these wonderful peels to share with you and I'm going to be giving you some of my secrets because this is what it's all about. We want to make you the best esthetician ever. Thank you.